Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I have a really exciting and kind of different from my channel video. I'm going to be ranking all of the Natasha Denona palettes that I own from my least favorite to my most favorite. Now, I'm not taking credit for this video idea. One of my favorite YouTubers, Kelsey Brianna J, she actually did this video and I just thought it was so cute. Such a good idea and me being the avid Natasha Denona fan that I am, I wanted to do it too. I DM'd Kelsey on Instagram I told her how much I love the video idea and was like, hey, I think I'm going to do it. Like, are you cool with that? And she was like, of course, she's so sweet. If you like my videos, I think you will love her videos too. She is hilarious. She reviews a lot of similar products to me and then so much more. She reviews such awesome things. So if you haven't already checked her channel out, do so. I will link the video down below in the description box. So after you watch that, be sure to subscribe to her because she is so awesome. She's one of my favorites. Anyways, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to go into my rankings. Now, this is pretty hard. There was a few that I was like, eh. You will see what I have planned. They're all laid out in front of me. So my least favorite palette, this is a little mini guy. This is the mini sunset palette. I just felt like this did not match up with her normal formula. If you want a taste of Natasha Denona, this really isn't her true formula. I don't really like it to be honest. These are really good for travel, so like when I'm going somewhere, I do kind of just throw these in my bag. They're only $25, so if I lose it or it breaks, it's not that big of a deal. My second to last favorite is the Cranberry palette. Uh, I will link my review on this guy down below so you can see kind of why I'm putting this second to last. It's not that bad, and this color right here is absolutely stunning. I just feel as though the quality didn't match up to my expectations, and you'll see the problems I had with these two shadows in particular. They just look so different on my eyelid than what they looked like in the pan. And I've dug through these shadows. I've continued to try and use them. But unfortunately, they just didn't work out that great for me. So, um, yeah, unfortunately, this is not one of my favorite palettes from her. So... You're going to notice all of the mini palettes are kind of in the back for me, but I have the mini star palette. I Actually, one of the only palettes from Natasha Denona that I don't have is the big star palette, but I did pick this guy up. Don't get me wrong, this palette is actually gorgeous. I really love how tiny it is. And I do really like the color schemes, the mattes, and these are awesome. It's just, again, not the Natasha Denona quality that she has in all of her palettes. It's not that I don't like this, it's just ranking-wise, this isn't the top for me. Her palettes are so expensive, and this is only $25. I kind of would hope this would be in the back. And then, of course, I have the mini Lila palette. This one is definitely my favorite of the three. I don't find the quality of this to be too bad. This color is a little bit disappointing, which is kind of the centerpiece of the palette. However, it's not bad. But again, same reasons for the other two mini palettes, just not my favorite. But they're still pretty good, you know? And I do love to travel with these. All right, so next up, I actually have the Tropic palette. Now, this palette, a lot of people were having issues with. I personally love the color scheme of this guy. I love all the different colors. I love these top two rows. This lemoncello color is gorgeous. However, I did find that some of these bottom shadows, they just didn't they just weren't that good, to be honest. Like, this exotic color, I really can't get much pigmentation off of it. Same with Tiger Lily, Goosty, I was kind of disappointed by. I feel like this was kind of an experimental palette for Natasha Denona, where she was trying out a different formula and things like that. Kind of repackaging her products, and honestly, I like it, and I was able to make such gorgeous looks, and this palette is extremely inspiring to me. But quality-wise, it just falls short for how much it is. So I still like it, like I said, but if I'm putting them in rankings with all her other palettes, this one just isn't close to the top for me. Next, this one actually might surprise you guys. And now we're getting to the point where I actually really do like all these palettes, but I did have to rank them and it was giving me serious anxiety. But this is where this guy fell for me personally. This is the Sunset Palette, and for a lot of people, I know this is going to be their favorite. I personally am not super duper into warm tone eyeshadows. I of course like them, but this is honestly a little bit too warm for my personal liking. I don't know, these just for me aren't colors I grab for every day, which is why I'm putting it where it is. But honestly, the quality of this is super good. It's me, not the palette. But if you're into these super hot orange, hot warm colors, you actually will really enjoy this palette because the quality is great. Color scheme wise, I just don't 
go for it that often. All right, next I have one of her newer palettes. This is the Safari palette, and I feel like this caused a lot of questioning for the brand. Um, this is an all matte palette. I reviewed it. I personally liked it. I actually reviewed it twice on my channel just to give it a second try. Now, the reason this isn't at the top for me is just because it is an all matte palette, so I don't reach for it as often, but I do love these mattes. I love the color scheme here. It makes me feel very inspired and really, I just want to try so many different looks with this palette, so I do quite enjoy it a lot. It's just one of those, I'm a shimmer girl, so this lacks the shimmers, so that's why it is where it is, but I really like the quality of this, and I really like the colors in this. It's just so many other Natasha Denona palettes, they are very, very shimmer-based, which is why I think I like them so much, but this matte one, I like, and I'm very inspired by it, and I like mixing it with a lot of other palettes and a lot of other, like, cream shadows, glitter shadows on top while using that palette. Super awesome. All right, next we have the Lila palette. If you know me, you know I love my pinks and purples. I mean, this is the amazing regular Natasha Denona formula. You will not be disappointed with this palette if you like these colors. Now, it's not my top palette because I feel like with this, I do want a little bit more variety in the colors. I just feel like these all kind of stay in the same tone and depth. I just think adding a little bit more different pops would make this a better palette. Though I do love this palette, the looks that come out with it aren't super creative. So for me, for personal everyday use, I like it. But when I do want to get super creative with my looks, this isn't the palette that I go for. It just always creates a really pretty smudgy, purpley, mauve -y look. But sometimes I just want to be a little bit more creative and inspired. So honestly, this palette doesn't really inspire me, but it's really, really gorgeous and I love the quality of it. Moving on, these were limited edition from the holiday collection last year, but I am going to count them as one. Look how gorgeous these are. These are amazing five fan palettes. I wasn't too crazy about her holiday one this year, but the ones from last year are super stunning. If somehow or some way you can get your hands on these palettes, I would definitely recommend them. I don't know. I just think even though there's just these 10 colors, they're so inspiring. You can create so many looks and I just was really in love with with this holiday release. I honestly don't think these sold out that well because they were sold on Sephora for forever and I don't know why because they are gorgeous and I still use them a lot. Like, so inspired by them. All right, next I have the 28 Purple Blue palette. Now these 28 pan palettes are kind of, I feel like, what put Natasha on the map as far as her formulation goes because these are the OG, absolute amazing formula. These are mad expensive, but look at this. Now, this was the first 28 pan I was attracted to because obviously purples. I now think that I've had it for a while. It actually is pretty difficult for me to use on an everyday basis. I, of course, do use it a lot. I actually wore this to my college graduation. But like I said, you do have these blue tones, which aren't something that I wear a ton. And of course, I say this as I am wearing blue eyeshadow on my lid. <laughs> And I also do kind of find it difficult because I feel like this lacks the crease shades that I usually tend to go for. But that being said, like, it's still gorgeous and it's one of my top faves. I just love the 28 pan palettes. If you can save up or get this for 20% off, I would totally recommend that you do it because these palettes are so awesome. And honestly, they're the best of the best from Natasha. Next, of course, I have the other 28 pan palettes and this is the green and browns now i wanted the purple blue one way more but now that i have this i actually like this one a little bit better just because it's a little bit more me um i actually i really like olivey green toned eyeshadows as well and this just has like a lot of browns here that make it more wearable and the shimmers in here are to die for i just wow this palette is definitely a uh, wow. Honestly, this palette kind of leaves me speechless. I'm just gonna let the colors do the talking. You can take a look at it and you will see what I'm talking about and why I absolutely love this palette. And honestly, me showing you on camera how pretty it is doesn't do this palette justice. If you ever get the chance to see this palette in person, you will see even more what I'm talking about because these are literally 30 times more beautiful in person. Also, if you have these two, that makes it a lot easier for you if you become a collector for the brand because she has a lot of five pan palettes that look stunning, but actually a lot of them are just 
a bunch of these colors put into little five fan palettes so if you have these two you're basically set for her collection if i'm being honest okay so my number one favorite palette from natasha denona it's her newest palette. I just did a review on it. I said it's my new favorite palette from her. And what's funny is that I almost didn't buy it because I was like, I have every single color that that palette has to offer. But no. Well, yes. A lot of these colors I do have, but the formulation in some of these shadows is just so unique. And the ones that aren't unique, they're the Natasha Denono formula that I love. The same that's in the 28 pans. And this is just such an easy palette to use. So if you're running late, this is a palette that I honestly would go for. The shadows are going to blend beautifully and it just... I don't know. I'm like getting tripped up on my words because... I can't even grasp how to describe this palette other than it's fantastic. It is the gold palette. I don't even want to show you because it's way more beautiful when you use it in person. Because honestly, these colors, like you feel like you have them. But once you swatch them and you use them and you see how easy they are to use, how easy they are to create a look, and also how easy it is to create a unique look with this. Like, this is my favorite, honestly, truly my favorite. So if you're going to get one palette from Natasha Denona, I would recommend this, but of course, look into her 28 pan palettes as well. They are absolutely phenomenal. Like, had I not purchased this, these two would be my favorite, but I did purchase this and it did knock my socks off, so had to mention this as number one, the best palette ever. If you're curious about my eye look, by the way, I'm not wearing any Natasha Denona palettes, I'm so sorry, but I'm working on my tutorials for my Opulence collection from Pat McGrath, so I'm thinking of doing... Pat McGrath version of this if you guys would be interested. Anyways, 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 I will see you guys in the next video. Remember to subscribe and do the whole shebang and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!